In this video, we are going to start correlation. We want to check graphical representation of correlation through scatter plot. So here is I have one case study how I have to check this correlation in R, R studio. So this is the correlation analysis bivariate and partial I had already used in my one of the playlist that is in research methodology and by the name of the correlation and I am going to share this link in my description box. There is, this is the case, there is always a hot debate in business schools during placement week that the final placement in general are arbitrary and a candidate's abilities do not really have any correlation with salary package offered to him or her. We want to know the correlation of the assumptions. I had already taken example of 25 students randomly. Those I have selected from MBA class. So their marks taken as the measure of academic performance and we have measured them on three other parameters like communication skills, general awareness, IQ level. So we want to check them. I mean placement drive salary data is also collected. These are the total number of the students data is 25 students and in the in the second column salary in lakhs per annum and then marks, communication scores, general awareness scores and IQ scores. So I just want to check because we want to test validity of the assumption that there is no correlation between the given variables. So simply I would like to show you in this video I am not giving you exact cal calculation of the correlation. Simply I want to do show you visual presentation scatter scatter plot presentation in this R studio. So let me finish all these uh, arguments as well as my functions these plots also. This is also I am finishing. And this file is also I am closing. So here is I would like to open import my data set and uh, browse then in the R studio. Okay, fine. That is on the desktop and in this folder I have this uh, in the R studio. This is my data and uh, name of this data is correlation this is the file so I am opening this file this is the correlation and there in this correlation excel sheet 25 observations with six variables so let me start first I would like to you can see here this file is also open here uh, student salary marks communication scores and GA and IQ and total number of the data is 25 students data. So here is first of all I would like to create a variable that is score and uh, I would put this correlation file in this variable. So again and again I am not using this one is the lengthy name simply I would use this code. This variable is created here. Now some more variables let me create here let's say salary I would like to create so in salary um, where it is put it that is in this file in this excel sheet and uh, dollar sign and i would take in this cell is salary so i had entered and this is the cell variable is created and one more variable i would like to create let me mark and uh, i would like to put this code and that is the dollar sign and uh, I would like to put this variable here is salary no, not salary sorry in this marks dollar sign and then marks right so I would put and I, after that I would like to create one more communication score that would also I would like to create here and that is again that variable and uh, here is I would put dollar sign and then I would like to give communication scores also. So here is what I have to do. I want to draw a plot right. I want to draw a plot. Plot. I would use this function and in between marks add there is communication scores. So I would press enter. So you can see this is the 
uh, scatter plot is created here. Now I would like to give again I have to press upward arrow. So now I want to give main title to this particular I want to give color also to all these walls. So red, let me give this color. Let me take is blue. So all these this is the each color has been changed that is blue. Now I want to give this curve scatter plot a title is I want to give um, let's say I want to give this title is um, marks I would say I mean I would write scatter plot scatter plot so I would press enter right and I want to change this color also right and uh, this color is of this main main theme right this one is the main title I would like to change color so what I have to do I would write color dot main and uh, equal to I would like to give let's say red color so red color is uh, here and I would enter press enter so you can see here scatter plot name title is changed now I want to give along with this xlab title xlab is xlab I want to give on the x-axis I have taken student marks let's say I would write um, in inverted commas open then I would like to give student marks so student marks if I would write and these marks this would be displayed sorry student marks you can see on the x-axis I would zoom this now you can see student marks this is the scatter plot is here and on the y-axis y lab I would like to give title is let me take this by y lab and I want to give this title is let's say communication scores communication score so that would be reflected on the y-axis so I'm sure you can see here on the y-axis this the title is communication score so but before that I want to give this the one line that should be reflected over here right what is the relationship through line I would like to see so what I have to use function is ab line right I would sorry I would uh, just remove this right I would write ab line and uh, in I would write here is lm lm function and uh, I want to draw line between here is that is mark and I would use tilt sign then uh, mark and communication so I would press enter there is the some error what happened mm. okay 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 right my function is incomplete abline I would use function abline and there would be lm function and uh, then I would use term mark and uh, tilt sign and then I'm going to use communication right so I would press enter so now you can see this is the line and uh, I want to see color of this line also so what I have to do I would write here a press enter comma then let's say I would like to use color um, let's see that would be green right green color so simply I had written strip and I had right so you can see here I would zoom this that is the green color line is reflecting over there now what I have to do I would like to see complete relationship right I am right I am giving the complete file name that is C O R code but color should be there should be two colors right i would like to give two colors over there and what are these colors three and uh, we can give four that is also 
smooth color so you can see here this kind of curve that would be created i mean this kind of scatter curve in between all these variables i mean pairing off in between these variables that is reflecting over there and simply what you have to do you can export this copy to clipboard right and copy plot and simply you can report here i had already reported some curves over here and you will press here i mean these are the here is on this word document you can paste it here so you can report these curves in your word document so i'm sure in this video you have learned how you have to draw a scatter plot and i'm sure in the next video we are going to do some more kinds of analysis statistical analysis data analysis using r studio and i hope this video would be helpful thank you so much keep